Four weeks ago, we brought the little lady into the house. I was in the hen house, or in the house, and I heard noise in the hen house. So I went outside to see what was going on, and there were four hens. They were pecking at her. She couldn't get up. She couldn't move. She couldn't do anything to defend herself. The chickens are known to kill off anyone that is not able to move or get around and she was acting very very weak and so they were going to destroy her had I not stepped in she would have been dead very shortly because it doesn't take them long to kill this little hen so she'll stay in the house till she's better she just lays there and waits for whatever attention she can get she doesn't even try to eat she doesn't try to drink she's just laying there I was getting a little worried about her, so I started to give her water with the baby dropper from the medicines. And once she started to get a little water, she started to drink her own water and eat some food, and then her bowels started to move. So she was doing much better. She was gaining some strength, and her body was not shutting down. It was working like it was supposed to. I was also worried about her eyes so i checked to see how clear her vision was her eyes are very bright and shows that she's doing well if her eyes were clouded over it would have been bad emily felt bad for her and wanted to hold her so she came over and she sat in a chair and the little lady enjoyed the comfort she was getting from emily's arms it is sad to see a hen that is not able to get around. She couldn't stand. She couldn't eat, sit like a hen. She was very sad. So what did I do? I made a sling, and I put her in the sling so that she could help use her legs a little bit. This way she could be in a different position and not have to be on her belly constantly. Plus, I, if she was to poop, the poop would fall behind on the container rather than be stuck to her because I had to wash her bottom every time she pooped the poop would be sticking right to her because she couldn't move at all so that's I had questions about the sling that I used what I did is I took a towel and I cut some holes in it then I placed a paper towel in the middle this way if she was to poop that would collect the poop or the poop would drop right behind her and this way the towel would stay clean. Right after I took her out of the sling and put her back into the playpen, she was able to support herself. She was actually sitting up and acting like a chicken. She was trying to clean her feathers, and she was stretching and looking around. It was joyful to see because she hadn't done any of this she was starting to try to move, and that's very, very, very good that she was doing that because before that she would just lay there and kind of moan a little bit. Now she was actually trying to get around by cleaning herself. She was actually sitting like a chicken. She hasn't done that in a long time. Usually she kind of lays there with one leg kind of sprawled, and now she's actually supporting herself. She was sitting up tall till she knew I was getting the camera, and then she sat down. She was really very, very, very curious as to what was going on, and then she decided to just sit. Take note, when she stands up a little bit, you will see her feet. She's about to stand up. Stand up, girlfriend. There she goes. Take note, those feet. The toes are kind of clustered together. She's not separating them like she should. Eventually, those will spread out. Right now, she walks with her legs very, very close, and that will also change as she gets better. She will walk more the way a chicken walks with their legs spread a little more. Right now, she's trying to just keep her balance which is very difficult. She's going to try to walk a tiny bit, and you will see her falter as she moves. So keep your eye on the bird. Here she goes, and...
there it was. Oops, there it goes again. So that's what she does right now. She can't really move. So this is how far she has come from when we brought her in the house. She's actually sitting up and she is trying to move a little bit, whereas before she just laid there and did absolutely nothing. She's Remember her feet, how they were? Now look at them. They're spread out like a chicken's foot is supposed to. That red on the t paper towel, that is tomato. So don't worry about that. But look at her feet. They are spread like the chicken's feet are supposed to be. But she's still got her legs very, very close. So when she walks, she's still walking with stiff legs and she steps on her own toes because she's not spaced them out far enough. She's going to try to move a little bit, which is remarkable because she doesn't usually go anywhere. She, right now, she's just trying to build her strength, and she's feeling very warm. Notice her mouth is gapped. That means she's feeling warm. I did open windows and try to cool the house down, but for her, her temperature is about 110 degrees to normal. She's just sitting there like a nice little chicken, and we're going to go outside. I asked her if she wanted to go outside, and she seemed to want to go out. She likes being outside, and she's going to try to walk a little bit while she's out here. You take note of how she does. She stands up pretty good. She's going to falter for a few seconds, but she'll be okay. She tries. At least she's trying. That's the one thing that this little chicken is doing. She's going to try to move. Oops, she, she can't quite get. You can see when she moves that she has jerkiness because she loses her balance quite easily. She's going to flail her tail in a second as she tries to move, and that's how she tries to gain balance with the tail. And she's moving her foot just a little bit. It's just an half, a, half a step, half an inch and that's, that's what she feels like she feels comfortable with at the moment. But she's really very, very curious. She will stretch her neck, look around a little bit. She's going to check this way, check that way. Then she'll think, well, maybe I can eat some grass. So she's going to try to eat some grass. And that's what she needs to do. She needs to eat a little grass and pick a little stones and try to do the chicken stuff, and she took a half a step, and whoops, she falls down because she really can't balance herself. She's having a very hard time, but she has come such a long way from this. This is about two weeks into her therapy in the house, and she's still not able to walk, but she really has the heart to try, which is great because she stands up again, and she doesn't give up. She, she tries and tries and tries again, just like we should do. We should try, try, try again, like this little hen. This little hen has a determined little personality. Notice how her feet are. They're spread apart again, and she's trying really hard to balance herself. She's eating the grass. And she's pecking around, and she's looking, and she's stretching her neck. She's really very curious. She will try to take another step, so keep a close watch on that left front paw. Well, she only has front feet. But anyways, keep a watch of the left foot. It would be on your right, but it's her left. And she will try to move that foot again to see if she can walk. There she goes. Oops. And the, uh, right, the other foot. She kind of hobbles, but she will get it eventually. There she's doing it again. She really tries, which is wonderful that she's even trying. That means that if we want to achieve something, we have to try. And even when it feels very hard, we have to keep going, just like this little hen. And there she goes again. She's trying. She is trying so hard to move her feet. She wants to get up and move. Katie from Lee's Arkansas Bound suggested I put a roosting bar in, and she's walking along it, and this way it can build up her feet. 
she is actually doing quite well. She's also very warm again. It's very warm in the house. I went into the other room, and when I came back, here's Mr. Brown in there with her. He's enjoying some of her treats. And he's, she's not seeming to mind very much, but she's not eating. She's just kind of standing there watching him, and he does a lot of the scratching around, so he's the one that messes up her house. She doesn't scratch yet, but she is eating and enjoying his company. So it, I guess it's working out okay that the two are in the house together for now. Soon she will be able to go outside. Every day I bring little lady outside to, so that she can gain some more strength. Notice how she's walking. She's like on the catwalk. She puts one foot in front of the other. Now what she does every day is she likes to walk this direction and then she will walk into this little corner area where she's between the fence and the deck. She apparently feels very safe there. I had to actually put a flower pot in her way, otherwise she would go so deep in that I had a hard time getting her out. She wants to be in that corner and that is, feels secure. The other hens can see her, so she's really making it so that she's not a total stranger when she goes back in with them. Hopefully, they treat her nicely when she does. I, as you can see, I put a flower pot there, and Mr. Brown keeps running back and forth to check on her. He's a very curious little boy, and she's doing so good. She's curious, too. She says, how, how did this pot get here? I used to go further. So she decides she will just dig in the dirt instead. So that's what she's doing. She's digging in the dirt. This is another day where I brought her outside just to get some strength. She needs to be outside as much as possible so that she will walk in the grass and the other hens can see her. Another day of bringing her outside. She walks a little bit, then she'll stop, look around a bit, and then she will continue on and she tries to go into her little corner where she feels safe. She likes to walk in that section and she'll get there and she'll notice that there's a pot in her way. And she'll wonder, how did this pot get here? Well, I put it there to block her. She actually steps over the pot later on in one of my other uh, times of watching her. But I don't believe it's in this one. She gets herself into her favorite spot. And as she's there, she's looking at the deck and she's thinking, hmm, I'd like to get up on this deck, but how am I going to do it? Well, let me see. I will look around and I will see if I can step up there. Or maybe I should just try to go over those flower pots that are in front of me. I think that's what I'm going to do. So wait and see what I do. I think I've observed long enough, and I think it's time for me to just give it a try. So here I go. Oops, wait a minute, she's looking. I better stop. Maybe I can try again, and I'll do it really fast so that she doesn't even notice me, maybe. I'm going to give it another try. So watch what I'm going to do now. Yabba dabba 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 do. Here I go. Keep your eye on me. I step over those flower pots and into my corner. That's exactly where I'm going to go. And see if she can get me out of here. She will, I'm sure. But here I'm going to go in there, deep as I can get. Oops, there she comes. Oh, no, oh, no. She says, not there. You're not going to go there. I'm going to put more pots in the way. I'm going to have to get you out of there so that I can get the pot and you out of the way. No, nope. back up, back up. Oh, darn. She's got that coffee can, too. Hmm, I guess I'm just not going to be able to get in there up. And now she's putting me back all the way over here. That means I have all that way to walk again if I want to go back into my corner. I guess 
I will just go right back into my corner and see what she does this next time. I'll pretend I'm eating first. Yep, now we're going to go. Let's go back to that corner. She's looking. Better wait. Okay, she's not looking anymore. I don't think I can walk, and she won't notice that I'm traveling into the corner. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I better pretend I'm doing something so that she doesn't bother me. Three weeks in the house, and look at I'm walking to go get my snack. I'm doing so good. I've come such a long way from not walking. Now I'm outside. And do you see me over there? I'm standing, and the rooster's coming near. I think I will walk a little bit. He doesn't pay any attention to me. Look at that. I'm safe. I'm not going to have any trouble. Look, at I'm walking. Do you see me walking? Boy, they sure do run around a lot in here. I'm coming. She's called for chicken scratch, and I'm coming. Do you see I'm coming? Wait for me. I'm coming. Here I come. I'm coming a little faster. I'm trying. And soon I'll be getting my chicken scratch, too. Yay! I'm getting it. Look at that. Oh, my. I'm joining the, the group. Can you believe how far I have come from being held in Emily's arms and just laying in the playpen and sitting in the sling? And now look at me. I'm just about a chicken again. I am doing all the chicken stuff. I'm having scratch with the girls and the one boy and the babies. I'm having a ball. This is, this is the life. Did you think you'd ever see me outside again, pecking at the ground, eating the chicken scratch, moving around, moving quite quickly as a matter of fact? And it's not long now and I'm back in the hen house at four weeks. I made it back to the hen house. Yes, I am. I'm sleeping with the big kids now. The chickens, I, I do sleep in a nesting box. I don't roost yet, but I'm able to get up into my nesting box, and I sleep there, and then in the morning I have my food with all the other hens, and I'm just living it up again. Can you believe I had a second chance? Thank goodness for second chances. We all deserve a second chance. And I'm so glad I got mine. Look at me. I am doing so good. Can you believe it? Look at that. I'm looking for the scratch and everybody's leaving me alone. And look at that lady. She's right next to me and the babies are scurrying around. And I'm just enjoying life as life should be enjoyed. So thank you all for watching the journey that I've taken in my little chicken world where I went from a little invalid to this happy little hen and soon I shall be laying my own eggs. I don't lay eggs yet, but I will lay eggs. And look at my face is even perking up. I'm getting pinker in the face. I used to be so pale. I'm not pale anymore. I'm just a sweet little hen. And my name is Little Lady. And look at the, oops, oops, oops. There's accidents in this hen house. Every now and then there's an accident, but that was an, an accident. They didn't mean to do that. The rooster came in and scared her because you know why? He fancies her. He doesn't fancy me yet, but he does leave me alone and he lets me enjoy my chicken food and, and he doesn't bother me. Some of the girls he chases away, but he doesn't chase me away. Well, I hope you enjoyed my journey. I enjoyed sharing it with you. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video with the gang. Bye.